Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, welcome back to another tutorial. Now, this is a very simple tutorial um, as someone actually made this and they just gave it to our community. So I'm going to display their model that you guys can actually pay attention to. Now, I know that some of you guys kind of wanted this um, because of the, the whole um, avatar thing that I just released. Um, I did do another tutorial a while back about making a purchase leaderboard with leader stats and all of that. Um, and I'm currently working on a V2 for a version two for the outfit outfit stands that's going to come out with boards and um, data store, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's going to be really later. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys this live purchases board, which is really cool how you can customize it and things you can do with it. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to just hit that subscribe button, everybody. It means so much to me. I'm almost at 48,000, which is amazing. Um, once I hit 50,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway as well. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, so. Um, in my past, as you can tell with these avatar stands, I kind of already owed things. But basically how this works is it just checks if someone purchases something in the game. Um, and so if you were to buy this, let's say, um, I'm going to purchase it. And then it's going to pop up on here for me. So as you can tell, it's on the board. And you can see who purchased it, how much it was. And then there was supposed to be an actually like a thing right here. And normally this works. It just depends. Sometimes it's a little different if they don't have um, avatar things. As you can tell, this one didn't really have anything. It's kind of hard. But yes, it will pop up a thing on there for you. But yeah, and I guess um, I think if this wasn't mine, you actually are able to purchase uh, like a thing. But um, yeah, so this tutorial will be really simple. Now, um, to get this started, you're just going to go in the description. Everything is in the description. That means I'm talking like Discord. Um, if you need help from there and also just like all the model links, everything like that. Um, that's really nice. It has a little refresh as well. Um, but yeah, so um, let's get uh, right into this. All right, so whether you're in my Discord community server, you can get it in there through the community dev portion, or you can just go to my models, and I just uploaded it here. Give the credits to Fewful. Um, of course, he's the one who made it, so if you guys want to check him out, go to his uh, Roblox profile, give him a follow, and say thank you to him. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much it. Um, you can hit uh, download, you can hit try in studio, uh, just claim whatever's easier and best for you. Um, that's how you basically get a model. Um, and to import it, like I said, if you downloaded it, you're going to click this model tab and just click this model button and you can just import it through there or you can just go to inventory and my models and it should be that one right here. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> how this works is um, he has two things we did here. We have service of service and workspace. So we're going to put these out and we're going to ungroup them. So once you do that, you're going to delete that and you should just have this purchase leaderboard and this purchase handler. Now, I'm actually just going to go through and really just talk about um, the script first, and then we can kind of get into the rest of it. Um, it's really easy to customize, um, then you really don't have to touch anything rather than just if you want to customize it. But um, yeah, so we can go through here, and um, I'll explain a good amount of this to, this, uh, to you. But um, let's go here, level board main. Where do we have? I haven't looked at this, so we have to look at it. Uh, main, so this should be the main one. Scroll for them. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing you just basically, yeah. So just like that. Okay, so here's the purchase template. Now, um, customizing this pur purchase template, and I'll really talk about that later. Uh, this is going to be the main thing that's going to be displayed, of course. Um, you can kind of just go in right here and mess with this how you like. Um, there should be player info. See the background color. So if you want to mess with this and make it blue, or um, oh tell sorry this one right here yeah if you want to make it a certain color oh so there's an outline um if you want to do like a lighter or darker thing you can see now i have a little little outline going which is kind of cool um and then of course you know you have the rest of the stuff in here that you can customize so do whatever you like with this um it's really really nice but um as you can tell we have item price item name buyer name um item icon robux icon buyer icon um, all this kind of stuff, and this is going to be image labels, of course. Um, and really, how he's doing it is um, this is a scroll frame. We're using a UI list layout. So if you were to just duplicate all these, as you can tell, it's just going to keep going down. So that's kind of how a UI list layout works and scroll frames. But um, normally, when you do these kind of things, you really want to um, have a main frame. So like this is basically the main thing. Um, and all he's really doing is he's using the script to put this template into the board. But we got to look at the script and talk about that. Um, but yes, like I said, um, <clears throat> Billboard GUI, kind of cool. Um, if you'd like, you can probably mess with this. Uh, yeah, it looks like he has some really cool like gradients going and text and everything. And this, oh, that's a pretty cool arrow. I didn't know you could even do that. Um, oh, yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so um, 
stuff like that you can just really mess with this and if you want to mess with the colors go through here and just uh change with these things you know it's really easy to change a color how you like it but um yeah so that's pretty simple on that half and i'll show you how you can uh kind of customize the board itself but um yeah so basically there's this whole script right um i'm just gonna go through step by step it's not too bad actually um it's pretty easy to explain um so we have the marketplace he's gonna go, these are a few variables we're gonna grab first okay you got the marketplace messaging service uh the breeze i wonder why the breeze i'm guessing oh that's yeah it's the, um and then p temp oh that's the template like i was talking about and then the leaderboard is probably that yeah the scroll frame so um looks like you got a string going on here uh it's probably used down here yes so item price um this is definitely going to be the conversion i'm guessing um so this is probably the function to convert the robux to like a smaller decimal if that's what it is um and then uh adding commas and so forth like right here um so local subscription another variable so um function on avatar item purchase so we're going to use a p call function to get the info of the product so normally when you do this you're kind of need a yes uh local uh p call function is great for this because that will make sure it goes through so if it succeeds as in saying if it does get the product info and what we're grabbing it looks like um is the asset id so uh basically we just grab uh the username of the player and we double check that they bought it um and if they did buy it we're gonna get that asset id and then we're gonna actually provide a table of stuff so when you do this as well as getting product info it comes with uh, a lot of um things like item price item name item id player name user id is free so um as you can tell uh local user id we're gonna grab that by getting the uh player name from the just player.name pretty simple um item name we're gonna go to the product info by doing this p call function by getting the product info and we're gonna get the dot name um dot asset id dot price and robux and then we check if this is true as in is it free um so another thing to this is there's actually a lot of resources on this on google and i'll leave something in the description talking about getting product info and how you can see how um asset ids have these little variables to them like asset id price and robux these are normal things um, and so I guess publish async. I haven't really ever done this before. Buyer data. Oh, you know, it probably actually, um, I'm guessing this goes into, uh, oh, they may go into the chat. I don't know. Either way. Okay. So yeah. So basically marketplace service dot prompt purchase finish that basically checks when someone buys something. Um, I can't remember if it just talks about it just checks if it's yeah purchase id asset id yeah, i think that's just if it buys uh no no that's everything what am i talking about um so yeah if it was purchased as in that's just double the check if it's true yeah I, they did purchase it um we're gonna grab the local asset id which is gonna be a marketplace service get product info so we're doing that again right and we're gonna go purchase id so that's gonna be what they purchased and then dot asset id so it's it's kind of the same thing in a sort, but you're grabbing the asset id after the fact of the thing so it's like almost like this product info dot asset id and then they're going to do we're going to run this function on avatar item purchase and then that's going to run the whole other function of uh doing everything else grabbing the table of everything so um and up uploading it so as you can tell we have another one right here subscription and subscribe async buyer data this is where we're going to clone everything and we're going to add it. Okay. So yes, this is where we do the breeze and we're going to add it to the server or whatever for people to see. So, um, basically right here, when you look at this stuff, um, let me go right now and show you. So basically P, P temp clone. Now, when you do this, and I'm, 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 this goes for everything. You always make sure you want to clone things because, um, you don't want to just, just grab the main thing. Cause if he were to just do P temp, it would just grab this. And then there, it wouldn't be existent anymore because you'd be setting that parent to the leaderboard. So that's what we're doing right here. We're setting it to scroll frame. So we're cloning it, setting the parent to the scroll frame, and then we're setting the buyer data to everything of this data. So what would be basically what we got from this messaging service. Now, um, basically then we set all of the variables and all the edits and all that kind of stuff and details to the p temp clone as in saying we're setting everything to these variables so basically what we're doing is detail dot item name so we're gonna go to item name dot text equals buyer data one that's the table i was talking about so we're gonna get the item name um and then we're gonna go and item name equals the name of the product of course and then p temp clone of item price is buyer data two so we're going to this item price 
We're going product info dot price and robux, and then three item icon and so repeat. And this does um, item icon uses the robux thumbnail uh, asset ID kind of thing, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then get user thumbnail async. That's just really easy. That's a simple way of getting people's um, thumbnails and using the headshot formula. So that's perfect. And the thumbnail size is 420 by 420. That's like the default for um, what you see on like the Robux profile icons usually. Um, and then if buyer data six. So I'm guessing he's checking to see if it's free. And if it's free. So yeah, as you can tell, guys, remember this is an array. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if six is and it is free then we're gonna say the item price dot text equals free. So it does set it to check if is type, okay, so yeah, is type buyer data too. I'm, I don't know what is type is. Oh wait, that's the, oh yeah, that's the, um, duh, sorry. That's the function to check um, if it's over that certain amount. So if it's in the thousands, it's gonna add a comma probably. And if it's in 10 thousands, comma, 100 thousands, two commas, so forth, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so it checks after the fact of everything, if it's free, um, if this is a true, then we're going to basically set it to free. And then we do that. Like I said, I was talking about uh, debris add item P10 clone 30 seconds. So um, yeah, so the number sent should be destroyed. So um, that's what this is all, all about is uh, it basically adds it for a certain amount of time and then it gets rid of it. So that's kind of what the breeze is. Uh, I say debris. It could be anything. Surprise, I don't know how you guys say it, but Debris, I don't know. <laughs> but either way, basically you're adding something to the game. And then you're just getting rid of it after a sec, uh, a few seconds or something. That's how like all the like um, big like battle games work and stuff. You're like adding all those effects and then they just get deleted after a bit. But so that that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically how the script works. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to make uh, another tutorial on other stuff. But um, like I said, if you want to customize this, do how you will. So if you were to make something like really, really cute, I don't know, like let's see like a board. I, there might be like some like like some like aesthetic like you know i don't know how you guys want to do it like there could be anything you could do anything with this um donation board i don't i don't even know either way like i was trying to say um if there's something you really find or like you make um that's really nice like like i said if you wanted to literally just put it on like this one let's say like you see the please donate one right um basically you would just need to double check a few things. So what I'd recommend, in my opinion, so you don't break anything, this is just from personal experience, and it's so it's easier for you guys to do it, is I would just put this right here, okay? Um, and, okay, you see how this is like this? You're going to put this inside here because you don't, in the scripts, it definitely is calling for this. So you want to make sure this is always in workspace, nothing's going on with it. And I'd recommend to, and if you'd like, you can get rid of the billboard GUI. That's all to use. So you could just get rid of that attachments, whatever. Um, but yeah, so you go into here and um, as you can tell, this level board is with uh, how big this little board piece is. So um, you would want to, uh, let me fix this actually. You don't want to go like this. So you'd want to make it bigger first. So make it like to the size you need to be. And as you guys can tell, it automatically is set to be the right size. So if you were going to do something like that, that's extremely big. Um, I mean, I'd probably, I'd just probably go like that or something. Oh, wait, why is it doing that? Um, yeah, I'd probably go like that and then just like go down to this or something. And then you can just do whatever you like with this, but definitely make it more stretched out. I don't recommend doing a thin one. And yeah, so like I said, it'll, it'll fit though. And then you would just put this inside here or whatever. Um, and if you wanted to just get rid of this part, you see how it's like dark or whatever. Um, you can just go transparency, uh, go full off. And then if it came to the edge parts, uh, as you can tell, this little part right here is like whatever's going on. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my God. I'm so wrong. This one. Wrong one. Uh, yeah, transparency fully off. Um, and then you can just customize the background and all that kind of stuff how you like. Um, that's totally up to you. So, like, there's probably this main one's the... No, one more. You got a few ones to worry about but yeah see if you want to just customize them go around test it out make it your preference it should automatically fit to the screen that you want to do it to but yeah um i hope you guys enjoy that little tutorial like i said uh everything is in the description feel free to like this video if you can it means a lot um i got a lot of few tutorials coming out for you guys i will uh see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.